Budweiser present a special four-round bout. This is in the heavyweight division. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action referee, Lou Filippo. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trim with red, and weighing 201 pounds, He's undefeated with a record, 1-0. He comes to us from the mile-high city of Denver, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, Lewis, the facelifter, Monaco. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the stars and bars, and weighing in at 300 pounds, fighting out of Bay City, Michigan. Undefeated with a record of 13 and 0, 8 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Butterbee. Shake hands, give me a good fight. the tail of the tape before we get this one kicked off. Well, Butterbean, a 26, Monaco 27. The height for Butterbean, the weight extraordinarily in Butterbean's favor. It does resemble a tough man as far as that's concerned. A 100-pound difference, 10 points to the winner of a round, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight. Saved by the bell in the last round only. I don't think any of these are going to come into play in this fight. They may not, no. I think, we, I think you're safe in assuming that. There is Butterbean. He will race across the ring and attempt to get Monaco down quickly, and by golly, that's just what he did. So Monaco, who is in only his second professional fight, case the uh, right hand of Butterbean. Wow, he's scary just coming at you. Butterbean may end up having some longer tough man fights than this one here. Monaco trying to work the jab on the inside. He busted Butterbean with a pretty good uppercut there. And Monaco is uh, built quite well. You can see he's got a bodybuilder's physique. Just the opposite of Butterbean. He lands a good right hand. Oh, there goes Monaco. Second knockdown in this round. Two right hands thrown by Butterbean. Two knockdowns. Monaco making the mistake of trying to slug with Butterbean, but... You have to box him, really, if you're an inexperienced young fighter like this. Because he does have some power. Don't get into a shootout with a tank. There is no three knockout rule in effect. So if Monaco survives and he goes down a couple more times, we're gonna have a 10-5 round. You gotta use the jab against Butterbean if you're gonna be effective. Monaco, an inexperienced young fighter, I don't know that he has that good a jab. He's wailing away on the inside with Butterbean. You don't want to be there. There's the jab by Monaco. Now, sometimes fighters get hurt early against Butterbean, but they get the second win, and they start to feel that they can get to him. If they botch, that's okay. But if they get brave and try to slug and trade, they're in deep trouble. Monaco, not a skilled boxer, as you can see, leading with the right hand there. One, two, let's go. Five, 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 five. Good night. There goes Monaco. And I mean, there he goes. Well, that does it for this fight. Butterbean gets the job done. He threw three right hands and got three knockdowns. Well, he's a scary figure, right? I'm not saying he's going to beat anybody great right now, but when he gets in there against the guy he can hit, he gets him. And I, I know Oscar's here. And... Oh, my gosh. Oscar is here at ringside looking. Now, there's Monaco. We're, we're happy that he is that he is getting up. Maybe you, you're thinking twice now, Oscar, about having him come down in that way. Butterbee is just very, very exciting to watch. He's a, he's a good athlete. He's the only guy in boxing who goes by one name, and that's all his name is. That is Butterbee. You, Butter you have a point there that, that is that, Well, as you look at him, we, we like to keep these things in perspective. And this was a very inexperienced young fighter that he was facing with only one fight. We have seen fighters who boxed him do a little bit better. But uh, he 
raced out quickly, didn't he? Well, and I don't think we'll be seeing the boxer types matched against him. So there's the right hand. That's about five seconds into the fight. And good night with that. And all along, we didn't see any combinations from Butterbean. We no. saw him load up. We never see combinations. And I suspect we will see opponents with a higher skill level in uh, some subsequent fights. Yeah, I'm sure they're working toward that. And but you do see what happens when he gets a clear shot. It's home run derby. He's a big, strong man. I mean, there's no question about that. And if he hits you on the chin, he might very well knock you out, especially for 100 pounds less. And he's an engaging guy. Oh, and he is. People get a kick out of him. And I did mention that you, have do you did him a lot during the Tough Man contest. Uh, and you're flying off tomorrow to do the championships of it again tomorrow night. And uh, he has been an engaging figure to boxing fans. There's no question about that. He'll have to be tested, of course, at some point soon. And uh, he'll hope he's up to the task. About one minute 58 seconds of the very first round, the winner by knockout victory, still undefeated, Mr. Butter. The Butterbean, as he's known, now gets his 14th win as a professional with a very quick knockout over Lewis Monaco, who takes his first loss as a professional.